Hey folks, welcome to Calvin Scott Game. Guys, I've been gone a while. I've had some personal things going on in my life and haven't been able to uh, get videos done. But here I am back and I want to thank um, some folks that, that uh, some, some viewers, some subscribers that uh, checked on me and they has said, hey, we missed seeing your videos. So I want to thank Josh, Erica, uh, David Wood, Ludwig misses for hey reaching out and saying hey is everything okay? Uh, we're missing seeing your videos. I really appreciate that. It really meant a lot to me. So what I'm doing today is continuing on my um, games that I enjoy with a certain letter from an alphabet. I usually do ten. I may not always have ten because I mean I have enough games to. Uh, make 10 of a certain letter of the alphabet. But let's go back to last time, last video uh, was with a K. And what I like to do is when people comment and tell me some of the games they like to play uh, that start with the letter K, I want to mention those. Um, Aaron Nunley, uh, he likes to play a game called Koi Koi. I've never heard of it. It's a small card game, uh, smaller card game, I guess. And you're laying out certain flowers and scoring some points. Not sure how to play it. I kind of read a little bit about it. Uh, but there'll be a picture of it up here, and I hope it's the right one he's talking about. Um, so that was Aaron's choice for the K's was Koi Koi. And then we had Mark Patuka, and I hope I'm saying that name correctly. He had one called Kuki Kaluki, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's a game where you're playing cards. Both of these are card games, which I like card games. But Kuki Kaluki is kind of like your uh, Jamaican style game where you're collecting uh, sets and runs almost, and you're having to do different things, almost like Phase 10 seems like. Um, but anyway, have a picture of it up here as well. But let's get started with our L games. We're on L now. I believe that's correct. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, T, J, K, L. Yeah, we're on L. Uh, anybody else have to do that sometimes when they're trying to figure out what letter they're on? They run through the alphabet to figure it out. I do sometimes. All right. Well, let's get to my L games. What are the 10 games I enjoy playing? These are not necessarily my favorite. I call them my favorites, but these are some go-to games that I go to play uh, because they're easy to teach. Sometimes they're a lot of fun, and I just enjoy these games. So let's start with number 10. Number 10 is Lost Cities. Lost Cities is just a two-player game and you're going out on these expeditions and you're trying to play cards in descending order. And so if you play a card, I think it's descending order. Anyway, you play them either ascending or descending order. And if you play a certain card, you can't play, uh, I think it's descending order. So if you play a, a, a six, you can't go back and play a seven or go back and play an eight. So it's kind of a, and you have to score so many points or you'll go into debt on this expedition. It's a really push and pull kind of game. You're discarding cards in the middle that you may not want your uh, opponent to take and be able to use and play. It's a great little two-player game. Lost Cities, really enjoy it when I play it with my wife. The next one is number nine is Love Letter. Guys, Love Letter I've enjoyed for a long time. I got the one with the little, excuse the cars passing by. I love the one that the one I have is in a little red bag, little velvet bag. Uh, I looked over it for a long time because it was in a little red velvet bag. But once I got into it, once I once I got it, I think that's the most you can do with about 16 cards. Um, the game is really fun. Uh, you just you got one card, you draw a card, and you figure out which one you want to play depending on what it says on the card, and you can knock other people out or be the last one standing with the highest card. Love letter, such a great game. Number eight is kind of like Love Letter. It's on the same kind of velvety bag. It's called Lost Legacy, the Starship. And in this one, you're looking for uh, the Starship. So you're going through the cards, and each one of these cards have a different ability as well. You start out with one card, you draw a card, pick which one to play. And it is rather uh, nice as well. You can knock everybody out. Or when the end comes, the person with the lowest card gets to guess where they think the lost ship is, right? The lost starship or uh, if everybody's knocked out you win so lost legacy the starship my number eight number seven is legendary a marvel deck building game i don't own this game anymore but i do enjoy it i couldn't find anybody to play it with me a whole lot my kids when they were younger loved it 
we played it and enjoy it. Now, I do have some of the other legendary games, the Alien, and I have, uh, I think, Predator. Uh, I have the Alien one and Predator. I think that's the two I have. They're very fun. They're very thematic. Um, you're going through and you're trying to accomplish things by deck building. You're trying to uh, get rid of the bad guys before they come so far into this deal and defeat you. Legendary, a Marvel deck building game, my number seven. Number six is Lords of Waterdeep. Guys, I've played this game a couple times. And didn't I, I never thought I would enjoy it. I was never a worker placement kind of guy. And when somebody said, well, it's a worker placement game with a D&D &D theme. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I played it and it was so enjoyable. Um, I just, it, it just really stuck with me. So Lords of Waterdeep is my number six. Number five is Little Circuses. Little Circuses has one little rule that's kind of messed up that kind of keeps this game from being super fantastic. But Little Circus is you're running a little circus and you're getting these certain things and you're putting on a um, 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 an act every round and, and you can't go backwards. So once you move your little token to the next thing that you're going to activate as your act, you have to put a close sign on the one that you've been to. And so it kind of inhibits you from going certain places. So you have to really build this little engine of how you're going to score points, get more people to watch your show. Uh, little Circuses is a blast. I don't know why it doesn't get much love. It is an older game, but it is so much fun. Little Circuses, my number five. Number four, <clears throat> it's kind of a scary game or a horror game, kind of scenarios in other horror games uh, or horror movies. It's called Last Night on Earth. Last Night on Earth, guys, is a game where you're playing out these scenarios, like you're trying to find the gas and the keys to this truck in the center of town so you all can leave, right? But you have zombies coming after you constantly. So you're trying to fight off the zombies. You're trying to search locations, and you're trying to find the keys and the gas and get back to the truck, and hopefully everybody can get back to the truck. Or, hey, you might want to just leave them behind, get in the truck, and head out. Bye. I won. Sorry about your luck, right? But Last Night on Earth is a lot of fun. There's other different scenarios in there, but that's the one that I kind of enjoy is the one where you're searching for the keys and the gas to get in the truck. My number four is Last Night on Earth. My number three is Level 7 Escape. Now this game, it is not the greatest game. Gamers are probably not going to, you know, uh, uh, hardcore gamers probably wouldn't enjoy this game. This game is just silly fun about aliens coming through the vents, the ducts, the, and they're just chasing. There's certain things that goes on. There's uh, lots of things happening in this game, and survival is almost futile. Man, you, you're just really... Uh, doing everything you can to survive in this game to get to the uh, the objective. Uh, level 7, uh, Escape. It's a lot of fun for me. A lot of people may not enjoy it. But for me, it's a lot of fun. That's my number 3, Level 7, Escape. Number 2 is Legacy of Dragonhold. Guys, if you haven't played Legacy of Dragonhold, if you like D&D &D and you like that kind of thing, here you get to make a character. You get to go through a story, and you get to make decisions. And the good thing is, is one person doesn't dictate all the decisions. Because once he's made a decision, he flips his little token over. He really doesn't get to make a decision. It is the next people's choice, whoever's next in turn, or has a skill that might benefit better. They may say, okay, you take this decision. And then they play the decision out. Guys, it's a lot of fun. I'm probably not even halfway through Legacy of Dragon Hope. But every time I get it back to the table, all the things that we've been through comes flooding back to my mind of Legacy of Dragon Hope. I love it so much. It's such a great game. That's why it's my number two. My number one game, guys. My number one game is Legends of Andor. Legends of Andor is such a different style game for me. You know, you have those games where you go through and you're trying to just kill all the bad guys. You can't do that in Legends of Andor. You're trying to keep them away from your castle, yes. And you're trying to delicately take out the ones that you need to, right, before they get to the castle and do too much damage. But if you kill too many monsters, your track moves up 
and your time speeds up of how fast you have to accomplish your goal. Guys, I think that's such a cool mechanism, not to mention you get this guy coming in on a horse to help you every now and then. I can't remember what his name is, but it is such a fun game. Legends of Andor is my number one for the games I like to play. Let's start with the little letter L. I almost can't speak today. Guys, what is your favorite game that you like to play that starts with the letter L? I sure would like to hear it. Put it in the comments and maybe you'll get mentioned on the next video of what your favorite L game was. Hey guys, I just want to tell you I am deeply appreciative of everyone that checked on me. Um, everyone that said, hey, we miss your videos. Uh, guys, it was very nice of you to do that and I am so thankful. But I'm going to tell you, as I always do, get a board game to the table. Spend time with your friends and family. And thank you for watching Calvin's Got Game.